Okay, I am finally here at Trader Joe's for the first time in maybe about five years or longer. You can see that my Trader Joe's is very small. Okay, so this is my first Trader Joe's haul. This is the first time I've been to Trader Joe's in probably five or six years, maybe even longer. I just can't even remember. So this Trader Joe's that I went to was kind of a small Trader Joe's and I didn't want to buy too much. So I just picked up a few things. So first I decided to try this popcorn. This looked really good. Um, I decided to try some of their coffee. Now I mostly drink organic, I mean not organic, I mostly drink decaf coffee, uh, but I didn't see that they had decaf organic, so I'm going to just try their regular. I've seen a lot of people talk about these parsnip chips, so I can't wait to try these. Um, the stats are really good. Look at that, that's very good. Um, I decided to splurge on these. I was going to buy some shrimp, but I bought these instead. I'll be cooking these today. And some Brussels sprouts that I'll also be cooking today. Uh, broccoli slaw. I love broccoli slaw, but I usually can't ever find it organic, so I was happy about that. I've seen people talk about these broccoli florets, so I really can't wait to try those and once again the stats it looks like they're high in carbs but then they have eight grams of fiber so since I do net carbs that is perfect it did get a little bit of alcohol um, this is a half size bottle of champagne and I'm gonna give Trader Joe's reserve a try so we'll see I like champagne because um, to me it tastes sweet and it has less carbs and less sugar and less alcohol than wine. But of course if carbonation bothers you then you can't eat it. I'm going to try this whole grain crisp bread. I love the stats for it. Um, I've seen someone mention this, so I decided to give this a try. Uh, beef jerky, I always like that as a snack. The smoked salmon dip, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to put it on that crisp bread and see how it is. These are for my doggies. I like these individual size packets of nuts because it just makes it easy for me to know how much I'm eating. So this one is almonds, cashews, and chocolate. Um, 16 grams of carbs, 3 fiber. Wow, 260 calories. That's a lot in one of these little bags. Wow. I didn't even look at the calories because really I care more about carbs than calories, but well. And then I got one that was just almonds and they're in individual bags. This uh, mushroom medley looked good. It has um, olive oil, garlic, and parsley, so that looks delicious. Um, some power greens. I'm going to chop these up and have them for breakfast. I'm starting to get into having salads for breakfast. Uh, some goat cheese that I'm also going to try putting on those crackers. Um, I decided to try their cooked bacon. I don't always like cooked bacon, but I'm going to put it on my salad. This is the thing I'm really most excited about are these organic chicken wings. Um, I always buy organic chicken. But in my Sprouts and at my Walmart, they usually only have chicken uh, drumsticks and thighs. And they never have wings. So I'm really excited about these wings. These crab cakes look really good. 
Yummy. Um, this rice cauliflower stir fry. I'm not sure I've heard anyone mention this before. I usually make my own stir fry, but uh, why not try this? And um, the stats are really good. Oh, so yeah, that's it. So yeah, I didn't buy a ton of things. I'm going to, probably in another month or so, I'm going to go to the other Trader Joe's, which is a much bigger store. And uh, thanks for watching. So this is what I'm having for breakfast this week. These are the greens that I just purchased. I chopped them up. Uh, this is a um, hard boiled egg and two slices of that bacon. And I'm going to put my, I forgot to grab it. Let me grab it. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to put this um, Caesar vinaigrette. I had showed this in a previous food haul. It's been sitting in my refrigerator now for several weeks. So I'm going to be trying this for the first time on my breakfast salad. Okay, so I just cut the Brussels sprouts in half. I've drizzled them with olive oil and salt and pepper. And now I'm going to put them in my air fryer. Okay, so that beef was already cooked. So all I did was I took the beef and I just divided it up into four servings. I already ate one serving for lunch. So these are for the next three days. And then these are the Brussels sprouts that I just roasted in the air fryer. So yeah, look at that. That was a quick meal prep for the next few days. So this morning, I've tried this crisp bread with the smoked salmon and it's really good the smoked salmon dip it really just tastes like it's very creamy and kind of salty so it kind of just tastes like a creamy salty slightly fishy dip I mean of course you'd only like it if you like fish a lot but it's so creamy that's the best thing and then this crisp bread is really really crispy so it tastes delicious together yummy I'm really enjoying this a lot okay so I have the chicken wings in my air fryer right now so I used half of this coleslaw half of this broccoli slaw to make kind of a coleslaw so I put it in this bag and then I added some of this Walden Farms coleslaw dressing I usually don't like any of the Walden Farms products, but this one does taste good. And you can see here the stats are all zeros. Which is one reason why I'm usually afraid of the Walden Farm products because the fact that something has zero everything usually means it's filled with chemicals. But the ingredient list is not really all that bad. So I'm going to have this slaw with the chicken wings. And then, I'm now I'm going to use the rest of this straw, <laughs> slaw to cook up my langoustine lobster tails with the cheese sauce. So I will show you that when it's done. Okay, so these are those langoustine tails. All this is is laughing cow cheese and some water and some butter because I didn't have any milk or cream in my house. So this would be much creamier if I had milk or cream. So if I make this again, that's what I'll use next time. But I just put in some garlic and this laughing cow cheese and look how delicious this looks. Can't wait to try it. Okay, these are my delicious looking chicken wings. So I cooked these in the air fryer. And then I made up my own sauce. I just took some olive oil with sriracha sauce, a squirt of ketchup, and some balsamic vinegar. And I cooked them for a few minutes in a skillet. And then I put this chicken in there. So I'm going to divide this chicken up to, into three servings. And I'm going to have that with the uh, coleslaw that I made. Okay, so I'm trying the crisp bread again with the salmon dip. And this time I just cut up a hard boiled egg and I put that on there. I'm having this for breakfast. So yeah, I really enjoyed, it was yesterday that I had the crisp bread by itself. 
And yeah, now with the egg, I think this is going to taste yummy. Okay, so these are the crab cakes right here. And I just tasted them. They're really good. You can taste the crab a lot. And it doesn't have a lot of filling. So yeah, these are delicious. I'll definitely get these again. Okay, so I'm cooking up this rice cauliflower stir fry. And it has even more vegetables in it than I expected. Wow, that looks really good. I did add some more onions in here because I put the onions in the skillet before I emptied the bag in here because I didn't think it would be so full of vegetables, but that's nice. And then, purchased these sausage for the first time. I got these from Natural Grocers. So I'm going to cook this sausage and I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to put it in here with my stir fry. So protein and vegetables. Okay, so I ended up cooking the cauliflower separate from the sausage. So what I did was I cooked up the cauliflower, I divided it up into five servings. So in these three containers, which are for me, there's about 2.7 ounces of the cauliflower rice, and then there's two servings in this container. I'm going to give this to a friend. And then I cooked once, I cooked all the sausages, and I just put one sausage in each container and she gets two servings of vegetables but one sausage so there we go this just smells so good and I can't wait to try it